blessed day, everyone. Greetings to you in the name of the Father, the Creator, the Most High, Ella, Yah, Yod, Hevahue, Elohim, Nectar of Nectar, God in our modern day name, and in the name of the Lord, Thoth, Melchizedek, Yohewa, Kodawish, 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 Adonai Sebayot. This is a message brought to you by Neophyte DAG. And this message is the gathering of the Adam Cadmans and the return of the Spectrum Vehicles of Light. Your Spectrum Vehicle of Light in particular and the other Spectrum Vehicle of Light coming back with the orphanims. Your higher level brothers and sisters to reclaim those who are ready in our third dimensional plane for their spectrum vehicle of light. In this message coming to you from Ecclesiastes 7 verse 29, this only have I found, though Melchizedek Yohewa, Netter of Netter, has made man upright. The Most High has made you upright. Perfect in all ways. Perfect in every way that you can possibly find. But you have thought out many different things that run contrary to the laws of the Most High, the commandments of the Most High. Not only the Ten Commandments, that's the watered-down version given unto you, but the true ones that were given to you. The five divine laws that were given to you. The seven principles of those, Melchizedek, Jehovah, and the two statutes walked away from that and invented things of your own. Call it your own and try to implicate the most High that he gave you those ideas. No, did not give you any of those ideas. Whatever religions and denominations you created, that's on your own. The politics that you have created, starving out your brothers and sisters. War every time you think. War, war, war. No break away from the war. Not the most I didn't give you any of that. The social disorder did not tell you to starve out your brothers and sisters. Did not tell you to steal your brothers and sister land. Did not tell you to steal your brothers and sisters possession and to treat them with scorn and disdain. No, he did not tell you to poison the economics. Take all of it for yourself and charge your brothers and sisters. High interest rate, usury. He didn't create no usury and give it unto you to create no debt base. Society, no way. That's your own as well. And your food, all those GMO food that you've been given did not come to you from the most. Uh, with no one, two, three, four, five, six pH. Did not give you that. Gave you 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's what you got from the most. You made up your own pharmaceutical. Calling it medicine. But we shall address that later on in this call. First John 5 verse 11 goes with Ecclesiastes 7 verse 29. You were created perfect, powerful, with permanent life given unto you, but because of all the things you have done to move yourself out of the commandments, the uprightedness removed from you. First John 5 verse 11, and this is your record for today, that it was given back unto you. Don't Neta, Yehovah, Melchizedek, Yehovah has given unto us eternal life. That's what you were given. Not you were going to, but you got it already. That's what I'm here to tell you. Give you back that record. You have your eternal life already. If you seek, you sought out the way of the Most High. Who gave you that uprightness? Who gave you that eternal life? Then you will still be upright. Then you will have your eternal life. But now you have to move back to being upright. Now you have to move back to your eternal life. That was given unto you in the first place. And the life 
that was given unto you. This eternal life that was given unto you is in his son, S-U-N. Don't you know a son is inside of you? A man, a woman is a son placed in a body. Is a S-U-N placed in a body. But because you sort out things of your own, you change the U to a O. S-U-N is in your body, giving you your eternal life, making you upright perfect in every way, able to live forever and forever, perpetual life, a regenerative power. You are perfect in every way, created by the most high. But you're creating things, but junk DNA in body, junk what? You are perfect in any way, the most high. Don't create no wasted parts, no wasted things. You lost your upright, so those DNA became dormant. You can't get them activated while you're seeking out your own things, practicing no wickedness. Matthew 13, verse 37. He told anyone who's following the principle of the Lord, though Melchizedek, Jehovah, so a good seed. That regenerative seed is in your body, waiting for you to get back to who you are. Start seeking the way of the most. Uh, give up your own invention. No invention of yours can work. It never did work. It's not going to work and will never ever work until you move back to the Lord and the most eyes invention for you. The seed is what? The son of man. The eternal life is in what? The son, which is a son of man. It's in you already, children of Israel. First John 5, 11, matching up with Matthew 13, verse 37. That eternal life is in the son. And the son has a seed in him that regenerates once every month, giving him back his uprightness, giving him back his perfection, giving him back his eternal life, giving her back her uprightness, giving her back her eternal life. If she and he use that seed properly, the seed is automatic in you, has its automatic function in you. Just step out of the way, let it do its thing because you were made perfect to function perfectly. Coming back to you, oh children of Israel. Well, every month in the children of Israel, in man and woman, after puberty, the age of 12, once you reach 12 years old, whenever the sun and the moon align the same way on the day when you were born, that seed is kicked off in you. That seed is kicked off in the son of man, woman. That's where the son of man comes in. That seed or the son of man that is born in your soul or plex once every month. That's where it goes in the house of bread. That's where it goes in the manger. That's where the seed go in Bethlehem. That's where it goes. God, man, the word made flesh. Page 126, written by Dr. George W. Carey. Coming back to you, oh son of man, son of woman, the seed that's within you need you to step out of the way so it can do its automatic function that the Most High has set it up to do. But you sort out inventions of your own. You sort out inventions of your own and made sure you interrupted what that seed had to do. First place the seed go is in your solar plex, but you start to eat all kind of different food. You start to drink liquor corrupting your solar plex. Liquor and excess food only gets transformed to more liquor and acid keeping you six, five, Four, three, 
two, one, when you need to be. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, to make sure that seed does what it need to do. So you move from your stomach and you move to Sodom and Gomorrah. That's where you move to next to destroy your seed. Because when your seed germinate, it falls down to your sacrum. But on its way to your sacrum, you use it up, you destroy it in Sodom and Gomorrah, which is your sex organs, your genital. So when you're chasing all kind of sex, sex and more sex, you're choosing up your seed's energy, preventing it from germinating and regenerating you into that complete uprightedness that the Most I gave you. And if it survived Sodom and Gomorrah, then it dropped down into your sacrum, which is what? The Dead Sea where Pharaoh and Herod and Babylon reside. They give you all kind of negative, all kind of bad life, all kind of chaos, all kind of darkness to make sure you put that in your mind and wear out your oil that is needed in your sacrum to move that seed up to your higher mountain, to your most high, which is your crown. That's what you've been doing with all the inventions that you made up for yourself and neglected the most uh, invention, which is you, that perfect being of the most high, created similarly in the image and the similitude of the most high. Don't think I am telling you the truth. This day, Neophyte DAG woke up and said he's gonna tell lies. No, not a chance. Seal portion 15, verse 60. The father had given Adam and Eve instructions on what to eat. You hear the story, Adam and Eve, the first to be placed on this planet. Well, here is the instruction that they got. Eat fruits, eat fruits, cultivate those fruit, cultivate those vines, and eat them only. That's all you need for your nourishment to ensure your perpetuation, your eternal life. That's the instruction you were given. 62, in the seeds of these plants, in the seeds, hear this one carefully and make sure you don't miss it. In the seeds of the plant, the same kind of seed that's in you, God provided perpetual what? Life. That's what's in the seed that was in the plant, that is in the plant and is in you. But the plant didn't create no invention of their own until you recreated them. That seed for each species of plant, of human, which is you on this planet. That's why you're given instruction to eat a plant and a fruit that is perpetual in life to make sure you stay perpetual in your life. So let me ask you this, oh children of Israel, when the father was given perpetual seed, he made the trees before he made us and put the trees first on this planet before we were put here. He gave the trees perpetual seed for perpetual life. So every time the tree is ready to recreate itself, what it does for you, it spit out another seed to give you another crop. So the father made them have that perpetual seed coming every time they need to regenerate and restart themselves. So let me guess now. The Most High, when the Most High was giving out seed to all the species, the plants got it, and you were the apple of the eye of the Most High. So the Most High left you out of the seed with perpetual life? No, not a chance. No, not a chance. You have that seed in you, but you have to move back to the order and the natural balance that the Most High gave you as an upright being. You are perfect in every way. 
Most I gave the plant the seed. He gave you the seed. And he said you shall eat the plant which are perpetual so you can be and keep yourself perpetual plants only. But guess what again? You got trapped in Bethlehem. You got trapped with the food. Gluttony and liquor shall be your demise. Because gluttony and liquor form into acid when they get broken down in your stomach. And when they get broken down to acid, they get transformed to what? More alcohol. So your entire body is automatically intoxicated with alcohol when it should be automatically germinating your seed, moving it down to your sacrum and let your sacrum push it up through who the river Jordan, through who the river Jordan, all the way up to Golgotha, which is your cerebellum, which is your skull. That's the automatic function within your body that you're disrupting every month when that seed is germinated. You miss the mark to get it up back to your cerebellum because it get eaten up first in your stomach with acid and the alcohol transformed from all the bad food, the unnecessary food, the processed food that you have eaten. If any of the seed survived that episode, then on its way down to your sacrum, it got fallen into the gate, the fish gate, and got swallowed up by your generation of semen, which kills out that seed. If it survived that genital area, then it moves down into your sacrum then Lucifer, then Herod, then Pharaoh, then Babylon give you enough anger, hate, jealousy, fear to collapse your energy source. And your energy is not sufficient enough to move that oil all the way up through your spinal cord to your cerebellum, your skull, your Golgotha. That's the process. That's the process that's being prevented every month because the knowledge of it was gone because man thought out only his own invention and not the invention of the most high. Let's make this parable unparable today. Matthew 13 verse 24. Another hidden secret. That's what a parable is. Matthew 13 verse 35 explains that to you. So in case you think you're reading the Bible and you're reading the surface and you're getting the hidden meaning because as they say, the person, the initiate, speaking as Jesus. And Jesus is only a code name for the seed. That's the code name for Jesus. But let's move on. Parables. I will utter things which have been kept in secret from the entire foundation of the world. Because they have to go through and find their way back to knowing that they are the secret, O children of Israel. You are the secret of eternal life. Matthew 13, verse 24, another parable he put forth saying, the king, dome, your king, which is someone who wears a crown, so it's your head and your dome. Your skull is shaped like a dome. It has an arc shape, so it's a dome. Your skull, Golgotha, your kingdom, your queendom of heaven. Heaven mean you have heaved up to a higher place where the most high, Ella, that's why it's most high, because it's the highest elevation point within your body where you connect back to the higher intelligence of your most high, Ella, Yah, Yod, He, So your kingdom of heaven is like what? A man which sows what? A good seed. You got to make that seed reach back where it should go. Back into your king dome. Queen dome. That's the mystery given unto you. That's the parable given back unto you, O children of Israel. And in further messages as we go through, I'm going to show you that the seed is the word. In the beginning was the seed. And the seed was the name of the Most High given back unto you. The seed has to come first and then germinate it and give you the kingdom. So that's how it works, children of Israel. 
God has sowed that seed in your body and make it move back up to your temple. Your whole body is your temple, but the upper temple, that's where you have to move that seed back up to where it's coming from. From the source, the source is sending it down to you in your solar. Stop at that word. Solar. Stop at that word. It means that's the solar connected back to the sun. Solomon. Soul man. Soul man. Giving back to you, old children of his. Well, that's your solar plex. Your area that connects you back to your son, which is Orion. You're always connected to Orion via your solar point, which is your Orion within you, lighting up that other sun that's in your pineal and lighting up your optic thalamus, which is your eye of God, moving the screen, moving the veil that's blocking your pineal from seeing the kingdom of the Most High, the temple of the Most High, which is right in front of you, children of Israel, moving forward. So don't go looking all over there and there and everywhere here. No, none of that. The kingdom, which is your crown and your dome, is on you, not on someone else's head, not on your neighbor head, not on your brethren head, not on your sister head, not on your husband head, not on your wife head, not on your girlfriend head, not on your boyfriend head, on your head within you. That's where you need to look now, children. The seed that leads to the resurrection, to the regeneration of your king dome, of the energy that's within your head. The energy, the house of the most high that is within your head can come back alive. That's what the seed does. It regenerates you back to your uprightness. It's within you. Don't go look nowhere else or on another place else. It's within you. Turn your attention back to you. Do what you're asked of by the most high. Let the system work automatically and take yourself out of the way. Take your stomach out of the way. Take your genitals out of the way. Take your darkness out of the way. Take your chaos out of the way. Take your in harmony out of the way so your seed can go through and stop being killed every month. Stop killing the firstborn seed that comes out every month. 12 of them come. 13 at the beginning. Once you strike off the first one, 12, that's the one you have to make sure you get 12 of them consecutively. One whole year of keeping yourself under these three cleansedness, your stomach, your genital, and your hate, your anger, your fear, which is your darkness, your emotion, keeping your vibration low in red. That's your job, oh children of Israel. So seek first within you. Seek first the kingdom, which is that power that's in your head. Cerebrum, that's where the power comes in. It drops down through your claustrum. It moves through your claustrum. Make connection with your oil, your holy spinal cord fluid that flows through your head all the way down your spinal cord into your sacrum. Then it comes back up with the seed to plant the seed back into your cerebellum. Then your cerebellum takes it, processes it, push it out to your pineal. Then your pineal push it out to your optic thalamus, making you your head pineal. See the glorious kingdom. Make your head the pineal, a part of that glorious kingdom of the most time. And your eyes, your optic thalamus, clear up your vision so you're not seeing what man is seeing on the third dimension. You'll be seeing on the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth. That's how far your vision will stretch and your pioneer will give you all the information that is floating around you right now, but you don't have an antenna. Your pioneer, sharp enough to pick it up 
all the way through nine. So everything that you can possibly know will be pouring in on you. So get yourself ready so you can be a part of this. So seek that kingdom that's within you and live your life righteously. Take care of the belly. Stop craving all that nonsense food that they're giving you. Stop craving all the nonsense their doctor been prescribing for you. Get rid of that. We're going to deal with the doctor soon. Stop sexing out your whole energy. Stop sexing out your whole energy. Frigging, frigging every minute. Sexing, sexing, sexing every minute. They're pouring all that sexual distraction and enticement on you because they know that's the second way to make sure your seed does not terminate your seed does not terminate your seed does not germinate cannot sow properly with that sex cannot sow properly with the food and the liquor they've been pouring upon you and then if that doesn't work they give you violence on top of violence fear on top of fear give you all kind of negative emotion to go wrestle with and make sure that negative emotion keep your vibration low so you're not vibrating at a rate high enough to push up that oil to give up that 10 percent oil that needs to be pushed up to your cerebellum. That's what your tithes and offering is. Not go give no money in no church. That's your 10% giving back to you. Oh, children of Israel. All these things, if you surrender yourself to the way the most I want you to do, look back at yourself and step yourself out of the way of making sure your automatic function work. Do that and everything. It didn't say something. All these Things shall be added to you because you'll be connected back to all power of power, all intelligence of intelligence, all love of love, all dimension that your father kingdom is operating in. You will be a part of it. And man who wants to practice his own invention don't want you to be a part of this because once you're a part of this, you are going to evict him from his kingdom. If he came, but it shall and will happen. Nothing can stop that from happening. Make yourself ready, children of Israel, so you are part of what is coming. God, man, the word made flesh by Dr. George W. Carey, page 90 of that book. Every 29 and a half days, a seed, which is a psychological, a physiological germ. Germ, don't frighten yourself, children of Israel. I know you get frightened easily. That's why I have the germ meaning ready and waiting for you. So when you see germ, you don't say, whoa, Esau germ is coming my way. No, that's not the meaning of germ. We go back to Webster, 1828, dictionary. Germ, seed, what we're talking about now. Isn't it seed? Seed, that's what we're talking about right now. That's what we're talking about. A seed of a plant, a seed of the children of Israel. That's you, oh children of Israel. Let's look at the next meaning in 1828. Original, that's what you are, oh children of Israel. First principle, that's what you are, oh children of Israel. From which everything spring from <laughs> that you again with your seed everything spring from that seed that germ that is within your body but guess what Esau know that you are gonna get this word sooner or later Leviathan knows Lucifer knows this seed this germ is gonna come your way later and he was hoping I wouldn't do the research but look at his modern day meaning he gave you the third one to frighten you. So when you hear germ, you back away immediately. No, it's a disease. No, it's a bacteria. No, it's a virus. Lies. That wasn't in the original meaning. Lies. That's man invention. Inventing meaning. That's not the meaning of germ. It's a seed of a plant that needs to be planted so it can grow and it can be reaped Harvested in your cerebellum, in your pineal, and open up your optic thalamus so you can see all that is in front of you, which you cannot see. No, so let's go back here. 
the psychophysical germ born in and out of what? Your soul or plex. That's where it's born. It's born originally in your kidney. Then it makes its way across to your God center, which is your solar, which connects you back to the S-U-N, Orion, a central pyramid, a central sun. That's what it connects you back to, which is also called the manger in the story of Jesus was born in a manger. The seed, which is Jesus, which is son of man, which is the word, was born in a manger, which is your soul, our plex. That's where your fruit of the tree of life takes its root from. That's where it gets started from. And it's taken up, it's taken up by your nerve center back to your kingdom. But it has to pass through the tree of good and evil, which is on its way down. It got to make its way past your abdomen, which has all the bad food that's been toxified and all the liquor that you have been eating. It has to make its way through that where it's cast upon the water to for circulation to get back to your pineal. It has to pass through Sodom and Gomorrah if it made its way and survive all that liquor and food that's in your stomach. If it make its way successfully through Sodom and Gomorrah, it has to pass through the land of Herod, the land of the Pharaoh and Babylon, which giving you darkness and chaos and disharmony. It can be saved, however, if you overcome those three things. We who overcome shall be saved. Isn't that what the verse says? He who overcome all this that is preventing he or she from obtaining and germinating and growing and moving up their seed back to their king dome because the seed is what germinate up to your king dome so the fruit of the tree of life the tree of life is your pneumogastric nerve it's shaped like a tree because it's forking off into various areas various glands of the body to energize them to bring out and germinate this seed cast upon the water it goes through that oil, virgin story, five wise, five foolish. They carried oil in where? Their lamp, which is their body. Their lamp, which is their seed. The five foolish did not have enough oil to push up their seed up to their kingdom. So when the spectrum of light came, they were not able to get into their kingdom because their lamp was out of oil. Children of Israel, start filling up that lamp, the cast upon the water to reach your pineal gland. Evil, if eaten and consumed in what? Sex. Not only the literal sex, but the sex ideas, the thoughts you're consumed with, sex, sex, and more sex, all kind of organs, all kind of body parts that are arousing your sexual energy that as well eats away of that seed. The next one is your physical plane, you're drinking up alcohol and eating all kind of non-spiritual food. You're eating all kind of meat, starch, dairy, sugar that's giving you more acid on top of the acid that's in them. When your system, your distillery in your abdomen transform them into what? Alcohol. That's how you're killing out that seed. So that's where you send the seed to the garden of what? Good and evil. You can send it to the garden of life where you keep your body and your mind in a state that doesn't interfere with the burning of that seed, with the moving of that seed. Down into the sacrum, your dead sea to be pushed up with 10% of the oil that's passing through the dead sea, pushing it up to your cerebellum. 
That's what you're missing out every day. That's what you should be doing every 29 and a half days when this thing occur. Because three days, that's what? Three days, that's when the seed, if it makes its way successfully to your cerebellum, it stays in there for three days. That's why it says, you shall destroy this temple. But in another three days, I shall rebuild it because he knows another seed is coming up and he can rebuild again with that seed for three days. When it's in the cerebellum, then it moves out of the cerebellum. Moving out with a force of force of force, force of force of force to ignite that pineal. Push you back up to the kingdom of the most high, which is your cerebrum, which is always radiating the energy of the most high coming in through your head and then opening up your optic thalamus, the energy shooting from your pineal, connecting with your optic thalamus, removing the veil that the most high has set up in front of your eyes once you decided to start following your own inventions. Therefore, this is your tree of life has given back unto you, O children of Israel, because you have that perpetual seed in you, just like he gave to the trees, he gave to you, and he said you should eat those trees that is bearing those seeds that have perpetual life to help you manage your perpetual life while you're in a physical body. If you were eating those plants that have these perpetual seeds, you think you will be dying 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. You're looking very old by the time you reach 30, 40. Not a chance. It's self-perpetual life. Cannot die. Cannot get old. That's what you're moving back to. So you're getting this message. So you shall make yourself ready for what's coming your way. Ecclesiastic 7 verse 29 coming back at you because the most uh, created you with that eternal seed within you making you a perfect being can never die living forever and forever perpetual life with that regenerative seed that come every month so you're guaranteed a lunar a lunar perpetual life 12 of them coming your way. If you make it through that 12, then you move to the solar perpetual life that comes once every year. That's how it works. So children of it. Well, Revelation 22 verse 14. Blessed are you, O children of Israel, because you do what is asked of you by the most high. Practice love. Love. Obey the commandment that you're given by the Most High and the Lord. Practice love. Go back to five divine laws, especially the one on your food. Go back to that. Practice moving around your energy has given unto you in the seven principles of Hermes, but it's principles of thought that was given unto you, especially vibration and rhythm. Those two are very, very important. Go back to them and practice my two statutes. No worshipping of idols and no Jesus image, especially. No statue, none of that. No altar, none of that. And observe the Sabbath, which is the day given unto you to connect back all the energy that's needed to regenerate your seed. Four times you're being given the opportunity to set yourself straight each month to help your seed to regenerate properly. If you do that, those who do that, the tree of life, which I just walked you through, is the tree that carry your seed from your sacrum back to your king dome, your queen dome, which is your head. That tree of life will work if you follow my commandment. And I give you the right to use that tree of life when you follow my commandment and enter her through the gate that I gave you. And I lock them up because you're following your own invention. I will let you enter through the gates of your body and get that oil and that seed to go back up to your king 
dome without any restriction or problem. Step out the way and let your body and the most high do what they're supposed to do. Those are your gates given back to you, O oh children of Israel. Your sacrum is locked up. One of the gate that it has to pass through, that seed has to go through. When it get into your sacrum, it has to go through your nerve path. That's one of the paths that the oil has to take. Then it has to go through your spinal cord fluid. That's the other path that it has to go through. Then it has to pass through a restriction by your cerebellum. It has to go through that as well. And it has to go through your cerebellum to get to your pineal. It has to go through that as well. And it has to pass through your pineal to get to your optic thalamus. It has to pass through that as well. Those gates shall be opened up to go into your city, which is your king dome. Going back to you, back to the source. Anything that has to ascend must first descend down into the physical plane, down into your body, then rise back up and come back to the source. Got to go down first and come back up. No one is accepted from that given back unto you, O children of Israel, which moves us back to this chart that you're very much familiar with. Akasa, blood, magnetism, your thoughts, make sure that your oil, your seed, make sure that your seed is properly sown, your seed is properly germinated, your seed makes its journey from your soul or plagues, your manger, down to your Dead Sea safely and make its way from your Dead Sea up your spinal cord, which is your River Jordan, safely and then make its way across the crosses. The cross is not to crucify and kill nobody. That's man's invention, oh children of Israel. Man came up with more invention to make sure he keep you in a wrong invention. Crucifixion, cross, means when your Ida and your Pingala are crossing at the same point as your pneumogastric nerve, your vagus nerve. They both cross at the same location right before they go into your cerebellum. And when they make that cross, that two-way cross, that energy coming up with your seed, the 10% of oil coming with it, increases. 1,000 times more the energy, you hear me? Increases 1,000 times more the energy that's going into your cerebellum to regenerate you. You need that thousand percent. Enough of the nonsense, children of Israel. Start recreating yourself. You're not prevented from this. It's the knowledge of it that was taken from you. But you're still who you are. You are these eternal beings without the knowledge of how to go back to your father because of all the invention. Man has come up with and kept the truth away from you so they can rule over you. But you gotta get back your akasa, which is your breath, which is your ether energy that's coming in through your dome, the crown of your dome, your cerebrum at all time. It's coming in and it goes through your body, waiting for your body to perfect its blood so the Akasa can do its 100% automatic work that it's set up to do. And then coming in with the Akasa is magnetism that comes in with it. And then there's a second magnetism that comes in through the left side of your body, making your body this full upright vessel. Now that body has to control those thoughts that are coming in and create powerful thoughts and powerful things because everything around you is controlled by your thought. If you're sick, if you're in distress, it's only because your thought is that way. You are what you think and you think what you are. Works just the same, oh children of Israel. So here we go again. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 50. Flesh and blood cannot 
inherit, cannot germinate that seed, cannot move that seed through your spinal fluid, through your river Jordan, back to your kingdom cannot do that. If you're coming with your own invention still, coming up with all your materialistic ideas, coming up with things of the physical, not of the spirit, in your fallen state, cannot. Don't waste your time. Go back to where it says, go within. The kingdom is within you. Everything is within you. Seek what is within you. All those body parts, the tree of life within you, and perfect it. Master it to some extent, and you can get into the kingdom of the most High. If that can't work for you, practice love. Love gonna get you in there. Practice love as much as you can. Not lustful love, but spiritual love. Neither can darkness, no wickedness, no evil, no iniquity, no sinners. If you're out of balance with the commandment of the Most High, you can enter, not a chance. You cannot inherit that kingdom. Corruption can't be in it. And fleshly things and fleshly ideas and fleshly doctrines cannot be in that kingdom. We're moving into Aquarius, a spiritual age, the age of Pisces, the material age, the fleshly age is done. So you got to move with the time children of Israel to inherit your eternal life, which you had in the first place and you gave it up. But now you have to work to get it back. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 53. For this corruption must be transformed into non, 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 non corruption incorruption. It has to. It cannot stay in darkness no more. It cannot stay in physical. You cannot be Adam anymore. You gotta be Adam Cad man. Man and woman, you gotta change to son of man, son of woman. Move from your fallen state and be Christ, that seed that is making its way 12 times a year back up to your kingdom to keep you generated and connected to light and your over self, Adam Cadman body. The seed is what? Son of man. That's what create your son of man. Making sure your seed is germinated properly. You supervising it. That's all you have to do. You don't have to do anything extra than supervise it. And keep your body and your mind and your sex drive in check. To make sure your body function does what it's supposed to do. The mortal, meaning you have to be able to live now forever. Mortal of dying every minute. No, 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 no. You have to now be undiable. Living forever. That's what you have to move back to. So your short lifespan and your sudden death and your illness has to go. And that's what the seed in your body is supposed to do. Regenerate your body. That's why you have revelation where you're being revealed the information to make you regenesis. That's what Genesis is. To create, you were created already. Now you have to recreate yourself using your seed because you are an eternal being. Mortality becomes immortality. Two sources of magnetism that's always coming your way, O oh children of Israel. One is from the astral, terrestrial magnetism. It's coming from the astral realm, but it's still on a lower form. And the other one is a solar, celestial magnetism that's coming from a higher form that's coming your way at all times. The astral, the astral terrestrial is the one that comes through the left side of your body. And the solar celestial magnetism is coming through your crown. So we go back here. First Corinthians 15 verse 40. Because they are what? Celestial body. That is the spiritual man. The light. The overself. The Adam Cadman. The son of man. Son of woman. The anointed one. The one who successfully let their seed pass through their body 12 times. 
That's the Adam Cadman celestial body that put back on them and their bodies, terrestrial, the bodies that are physical, still practicing physical, still making up their own invention, still want to continue their darkness, still want to stay in their fallen state, but it done, can't go any further than now. It done, you can't go any further. Two bodies, one has to be succeeded. The celestial is going to succeed. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you your terrestrial is going to stay and continue to live happy and contented. No way that can happen in this spiritual Aquarius age. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 44. So it is sown. What is sown, children? What is sown, O children of Israel? A seed. The seed has to be sown now, O children of Israel. And you have to start making that seed. Make it round successfully each month. The seed is sown. And a natural body has to accept that seed. And raise up that seed from your sacrum back to your king. Dome to get that spiritual body. That celestial body. That's the task at hand, O children of Israel. You're getting the message. You're getting what you need to do. Step out of the way of yourself and let your body do what it's supposed to do to sow that seed and raise it up back to your king dome. That's what's going on and coming your way. Your magnetism, the first one, which is the terrestrial magnetism. It's the one with a negative and a positive just by itself. And the one coming in from the celestial, it has two magnetism joined together. The one on the left-hand side of your screen is the step-down version. The lower version, the terrestrial, is always lower than the celestial, which is on the right-hand side that is coming through light. The magnetism that's coming through life is just taking those two muon portions and grouping them together. That is the solar magnetism. When you take the two positive together, that's the solar ether energy that's coming through your breath or through your crown radiating upon your body. But we'll go into some more of this. Now, magnetic energy is called astral fire. That's the celestial magnetism. When you go back to this book, Personal Magnetism by Dr. Doriel, it's called astral fire. If we have sufficient amount of the astral fire, the magnetism, we are vital, we are alive, and we're able to draw things to you. Magnet, draw things. That's what magnet do. It draws all that you want, that you think with your thought. It draws that thought to you. So you weren't going to be given magnetism to go draw no wickedness to you and hurt your brothers and sisters. But now you're at a time where even though you try to do your wickedness, you're going to be overpowered by those who are moving that seed that 12 times through their body to get back their Adam Cadman, son of man, son of woman, status, their uprightedness. So not evil you come with will work at this time. Your time expired for that. So you're able to draw all things to you when your magnetic energy is high. Blood has to be working. Your magnetism now has to be working because you're three in one. We move further in that book. The left side of the body inflows that astral magnetism, which is the astral terrestrial, the lower form of it. It comes through your left side. It flows out quickly on your right side because you are in anger, hate, sex, all kind of negative emotion, and you're eating way too much, and you're drinking liquor, and all of your energy leaking out and does not get to go to your solar plex to gather up sufficient quantity. That's what's going on. But you now getting back the knowledge to know that you're going to tone down all the negative, all the darkness that's running through you, subdue it with the magnetic energy by moving your thought in a different place. You are what you think and you think what you are. You are what you eat and you eat what you are. You are what you drink and you drink what you are. 
A certain amount of that astral magnetism is accumulated in your body, in especially your solar plex area, because that area by your abdomen need to be energized in order to germinate that seed in the 29 and a half days. But when you're leaking out your magnetic energy, there is no energy to sustain the seed. So you have been wasting your energy creating other things rather than creating yourself, your kingdom. It's accumulated in the body. It reverses itself and begins to pour out through the cells of your body. When it starts to pour out through the cells of your body, that's what creates the aura, the color around you, which is what this message is about. The color that the spectrum, vehicle of light being used by the orphanims are going to see and you don't want your color to be red when nobody come to check up on you. That's what's coming your way, children of Israel. So, this again is the astral fire, the astral magnetism. This is the one that comes in through your left side and you are going to shut down that right side with your thought. Your thought does it. You just have to think, don't flow out my right side and you keep persisting with that thought, it's going to obey, and then later on, you don't have to keep telling it. It will just set itself in that automatic function. That's what the most I work into your body. Once your will is controlling it, it then sets itself in an automatic function. Looking at your actual body and how it works, on the left side, it comes in through your left ankle, the left hip, the left palm, and the left temple, which is by the side of your head. That's where it comes in. And it goes out through the right eye, through the right palm, through the right under your breast area, and your right feet. But you want to shut down those points of going out with your thoughts. If you need help to start storing up some energy, right at this moment, close your right hand into a fist that will lock off that outlet. The right hand sends out most of your magnetism. Lock it off, close that right hand, it starts to gather up the energy, pushing it back into your body. But using your thought is the most and the best way you can use to lock in your energy so it doesn't go out. Quick exercise to show you that magnetism so you can feel it. Close your left hand in a fist for about a minute or two minutes. You're gonna start feeling the energy pulsating at your left hand. It's trying to get in and it can't get in. It wants to get in. When you open your left hand, use your thought to say, stay in the palm of my left hand and vibrate the palm of my left hand to let me know that you are responding to me. You keep doing that until it responds. Then you can guide that energy that's vibrating in your left palm to move it up your hand, your left hand, through anywhere in your body, and you keep guiding it with your thoughts. That's how you get yourself reintroduced with that energy coming into your body. You always have control over every energy that's coming through your body, and the automatic function of your body is already set to keep your body in perfection as long as you get out the way. Now we go back to this book again, The God Man, The Word Made Flesh by Dr. George Carey. Page 19 of that book, we're going to talk about the solar magnetism. Your pineal becomes what? The yellow electric property. Yellow, stick a pin on that for a minute. The pituitary has a milk-like fluid that has magnetic property. So when the energy of the most high flows through your crown, it splits into two energies. One that goes to your pineal, it has a yellowish color. The other one flows through your pituitary that secretes a milk white color, giving you your milk and honey, children of Israel. You shall return to your land of milk and honey, given back to you, O children of Israel. Your pineal, your pineal is the electrical, which are the two electron neutrinos that is going to your pineal. 
the Mulan neutrinos are going to your pituitary, making it magnetic, making the electron electronic. The male, the female. The male, pineal. The female, the pituitary. Joseph Mary is given back to you as a parable in your Bible. Use that and decode as you read through your Bible. Those are the parent of who? Jesus, which is the spiritual S-U-N, born in your solar plex, the manger, each month. Commencing at the age of 12. That's when Jesus appeared on the scene, 12 years old. The story given back unto you in your Bible. Let me read it again. Male pineal, female pituitary, Joseph and Mary of the physical body, the parent of the Son of Man, the spiritual son, born in your solar plex at the age of 12. This yellow substance, which is called honey, and the white substance, which is called milk, was promised unto you, O children of Israel. You shall be returned to the land of milk and honey, which is your king dome. You shall send that energy down and return the milk and honey with the sacrum oil back to your king dome. Coming your way, children of Israel, get out of your way so your body can send it milk, send it honey, and then let it join at your solar plex and nurture your seed so your seed can successfully go down into your sacrum and not get used up or killed by sex, gluttonous food, liquor, and those who are sending you hateful thoughts. It has to return to the land of flowing with milk and honey. That milk and honey that went out has to come back to the land that it was sent from. Children of Israel, you are of the anatomy of the planet that you are on. The Most High made you and the planet in the same similitude in terms of how you process energy. At the top, one energy stream, which is a positive and negative on either side. And at the bottom, it's the same. And they have to flow through the center, which is your solar plex area. That's why it's called your solar plex. It's the processing area for all your electron and all your magnetism. Everything happens there. That's the connection back to another higher sun. Your crown, your kingdom, Brings it in, but it has to go down to the center and get processed and let the center radiate above and below and get the job done for you without you interfering with that work with food, sex, and darkness. Magnetism and thoughts are one. They are connected. You can't separate them. Magnetism and thought, which is all the force, odd force. They cannot be disconnected. They have to be together because you are what you think and you think what you are. And the magnetic energy is what carries your thought through your body and outside of your body to anywhere you want it to go. So they cannot be disconnected. Proverbs 23 verse 7. For as he, for as she think, is in her heart, is in his heart. The heart is your thought, so shall you be. Whatever you think in your thoughts, so is you. You cannot separate the two. You are what you think, and you think what you are. In the hearts of the ancient was the mind, which is your thought. So wherever you see heart in your Bible, it's not talking about your blood pumping station. Not a chance. It's talking about your cerebellum. Your cerebellum is where all your thoughts are generated. So it needs that 1,000% increase in the oil and the seed coming up to shoot through the cerebellum to spring forth all thoughts that you can ever think of that the Most High has projected already onto you. And with those thoughts, you shall know 
everything you need to know. Children of Israel, you're walking around in one invincible machine. That body of yours. Take good care of it. Whatever you think, in your mind, in your thoughts, so are you. So think good things. You create good thoughts. You create good cause. You create bad thoughts. You create bad cause. And the cause is going to lead to the effects of what you just created. So if you create bad cause, you're going to get bad effect until you change it the next time around and create a good cause and move forward with that good cause. So you think, so you are. So when you release the will for thought, which is in your odic energy, the odic force, carrying and implanting a picture or an image that is impressed upon that force, the odic thought force, through your vibration, radiating through your body. That's how you create thoughts with your will. You send it out in a picture form. You picture whatever you want, whether good or bad. But from this point on, good on top of good. Any more thoughts for wickedness are not good. It done with, not going to get you anywhere. Create that thought. Implant it in your head. Send it out through your vibratory force. Then that thought is blended with what? Your magnetic energy and passes down through your nerve path, causing your body to react according to the picture that you just painted in the image force you sent out. It is created based on the will that you thought up in your head. So you have always been creating things, but you're creating negatively because no thought go undone. No thoughts go wasted. It goes somewhere. The thought doesn't die. It actually stays in your pineal as a record that you made that thought. So when later on, when those spectrum vehicles of light show up and say, did you do this? And you try to lie. They boop, pull up the information that's residing in your pineal. Telling the whole truth, only the truth. That's what your body is doing. Every time there is a thought that goes off in your head, there is an electrical spark that is created. And that electrical spark is picked up by the magnetic energy and carried to where that thought wanted it to go. So if you say, boy, I'm a sick inner, or oh, I'm not feeling well, you know what you just did? You just created that electronic charge to go to whatever area that the body that you selected that was not feeling good and go pour more negative energy in that area. And if you keep that up, keep saying, I don't feel well, oh, this hurt, that hurt, that, 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 you keep sending more electrical charge to that area, making it worse, worse, worse. But if you say, oh, that area, pain be gone. That pain, go away. That picture that you're creating, no pain is in it then whatever you think is wrong shall take on that image. If you keep it up, same way you've been keeping, creating negative thoughts and negative thoughts and negative thoughts. Switch it to positive thoughts, positive images, and you'll create just the same. You did not lose your power of creation. You were just creating incorrectly and negatively. But your purpose on this planet is to create positive thoughts of light, not of darkness anymore. That time is done. This energy moves like a whirlpool when you create that thought, spinning within the brain, and the ancient call this the cloud within your brain, which is the cave of your brain. That's where they buried Jesus for three days in the cave, the cerebellum. That's where the thoughts are stored in, and they come from there and radiate out, form the veil. Where's the veil? Right between your pineal and your thalamus. That's the cloud that you have created right in front of your pineal and your thalamus because you went negative with your own inventions. So once you start inventing on your own all kind of things outside of the command of the Father, that screen goes up. 
immediately, blocking you off from the kingdom of the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth dimension, blocking you completely off until you stop creating negative thoughts and create positive thoughts. Then that cloud begins to move and you shall remove that veil. If you use your seed to germinate as well through your body, it speed up that process 1,000 times. That's you, oh children of Israel. That veil between the brain and the mystery. That's the mystery. <laughs> that's the mystery, oh children of Israel. You created your own veil. But that veil shall be removed with thoughts that are of love, especially positive thoughts that are radiating love for your fellow man, your fellow woman, positive thoughts that are radiating good things, no negative, none of the stuff in red thoughts, none of the emotions in orange, none of the emotions in yellow. You can go to green, but move it beyond green and create the blue thoughts, the second blue thoughts and the purple thoughts. That's what you wanna create to remove that veil to remove that veil. Those are the thoughts you want to be working with. Now, as I've been telling you before, this is what's going on in front of you, but you just can't see it because that cloud is right between your thalamus and your eye and your thalamus and your pineal blocking your vision. Cannot see what's in the unseen as yet until you clear up that thought and then you, that orb that is right between your pituitary area, 10 inches away, that's spinning either clockwise or counterclockwise. But when you're thinking negative, definitely spinning counterclockwise, the red thoughts. But if you're thinking in positive thoughts, green, blue, purple, it starts to spin clockwise. And you start to get more clarity through your temple, and your brain and the mystery of mystery, which is your optic thalamus that clears up your vision. Make your thoughts, make your emotions positive. Make your vibration high, make your thoughts high and make your emotion high. And using your magnetic energy to carry those thoughts, to carry those emotions through your own body, positive one, and to radiate upon your brother's and sisters. That's the mystery within you, O oh children of Israel. Now we go to Revelation 7 verse 3, telling you, hurt not America, hurt not Europe. Don't tear down the economy as yet until I have sealed in their forehead those who have done the work to move up all their energy from their sacrum in their oil back to their king. No, then when it goes through your pineal, through your thalamus and hit your pituitary, it's going to give you back that globe in front of your forehead, giving you back that light to see what is in front of you. Some will see, some will not see when those Merkaba, when those spectrum vehicles of light show up. The ones that will see are the ones that are sealed in their forehead because the eye of God is open. Their thalamus is open, showing them the true vision of the Most High that is in front of you all the time. Don't believe? See portion 73 verse 27. You, O oh children of Israel, you do not see which is in your forehead, which is your thought. Your thought doesn't go away, children of Israel. Every thought you create, every thought you think, it stays in your pineal until the right moment comes. Your original thoughts, the original one, stay as a record in your pineal. But the emanation of that thought move out through your forehead and create an energy orb in front of you. You can't see it, but it's still there, even though you can't see it. It's spinning clockwise. If it's a good thought, building good vibration, 
counterclockwise. If you're spinning Pharaoh's thought, if you're spinning Herod thought, if you're spinning Babylon thought, if you're spinning Sodom and Gomorrah thought, it is spinning counterclockwise, children of Israel. The thoughts of your mind are leaving an energy footprint in front of your forehead. That's why the devil, that's why Lucifer and the fallen angel send devils, demons at night to come read your thoughts and give you back exactly what they see spinning in that orb counterclockwise in front of you. That's how they know you like that girl around the corner. That's how they know you like that guy over there. That's how they know you want money because the money is spinning in that orb. They know everything you want because it's in that orb. And they have control over the ones that spinning counterclockwise. That's the authority the Most High has given them unto you to make sure that you can change your thought from counterclockwise to clockwise. He said, whatever they want, counterclockwise. You have the authority to give it upon them, but they shall know one day that their thought is what they think, and they think what they thought, and then they will clear up their thought. So no more counterclockwise spinning. Get that thought going the right way. Children of Israel, the molecules that form your thought pattern, they move in all kind of direction as well. The molecules that form your magnetic pattern move in all kind of direction as well. But you, under the proper stimulus of thought, can bring your magnetic energy into order. Same thing with your thought, you can bring it into order as well because you are moving enough magnetic force through your body. That's your purpose, O oh, children of Israel, to strengthen your body. Therefore, when your molecules, when your magnetic energy move in all sorts of directions, that's when your force and your strength and your thoughts are weak. You don't want that. You want to store your magnetic energy in your solar plex. Do not waste it on unnecessary thoughts, evil thoughts, bad thoughts, fretting, worrying, stress. No, that takes away your magnetic force and eating all kind of bad food, giving your stomach more work to digest that food, auto-intoxicating you, more work. Sex, sex on top of sex, more work. Proper stimulus of thought and the will of the magnetic energy will make sure you manifest all that you need by your thoughts that you're putting in that you need to manifest. That's what it means. But your will, meaning how long you stay on that thought and you keep that focus, you keep that mental vision going until it's accomplished. Not wicked things on your mind to accomplish it. You have enough years practicing that. Now you're going to practice righteousness, things that you really want to help yourself, but not only yourself. Help your fellow man and your fellow woman. You keep those thoughts going. Magnetic energy is your strength, is your vital force. Spiritual power, magnetic healing by Dr. Doriel goes on again. The right hand sent during a five minute time. Your right hand sending out magnetic energy on its own for five minutes. He heal, cure, cure yeast that was infected. Five minutes, it went, you push your hand in the yeast cell, it kill every bad cell in that organism. That's how strong your magnetic energy is, what I'm trying to tell you. Your magnetic energy with your thought heals you and not only you. Anything externally, your magnetic force can heal it cure it back into order because your magnetic energy gives strength to your thought and if you keep your thought on it with that will that it's cured it will be cured that's the power of your magnetic energy right hand during a period of five minutes killed every yeast cell making it perfect as your mind see it as perfect as your thoughts see it as perfect 
your thoughts with your magnetic energy combined kills bacteria depending on the amount of will you send in that thought to cure it, to kill whatever disease and virus you have any part of your body externally and internally as well. Same thing you can do for other people with that right hand. That's where your magnetic energy is going out. It's been going out wasted, but now you have a chance to channel that energy. Only let it out when you want it to go out. But guess what, oh children of Ahaz, well, my eternal mothers, don't think I forget about you. Don't think I forget about you. No way. I can forget because you are the most powerful on this planet as we speak. You just lost the knowledge of it, but it doesn't change the fact. You take in two times the amount of magnetic energy, the amount of etheric energy as any man that's on the planet. You get the double times of that energy because you have the childbearing skills, because you have the ability to carry children, because you have the womb, the matrix that every living human being, every living human being come into this planet through you, so you get double time, the amount of magnetic energy, the amount of etheric, the amount of akasa, the amount of life force, two times for you, because at any time, you can be carrying life force, magnetic energy for two beings at the same time. When your baby is inside of you, you need to carry enough energy for yourself and your baby that's within your womb. But guess what? Even though you're not childbirthing at the time, even though there's no baby that you have in your womb, you still get two times the amount. That's what I'm here to tell you. Etheric Vision, that book, page 35, tells you who you are. He says, on account of your recuperative capacity of girls and women, you who you who get two times the life force. Excess force is supplied to the female body, your vital body, and your life force body. Get two times the amount because at any time in your life, you have the ability, you have the option for motherhood, and you're going to need that energy then and even when you're not going through motherhood. The energy stays with you just the same. So children of Israel, my eternal mothers, stop wasting your energy worrying about man and man and man because that's where you spend most of your time worrying about if the man is faithful or not and if the bills can be paid because a man not pulling his weight and this and that and that. But turn your thought back to you. Think that it's done and it shall be done because you have two times the amount of energy, the amount of capacity to make anything happen more than how much the man can put in on his best day. Children of Israel, my eternal mother, you think I'm done with you as yet? No way! The healers of the world. Worldwide, everybody knows this. But they play it down because they don't want you, my eternal mother, to find out who you are. You have twice the amount of thought power. You have twice the amount of energy running through you. So you can think twice as hard, twice as hard, twice as effective as any man that's ruling this planet right now. That's what I'm here to tell you. The group of healers that were healing people. In this book, The Etheric Vision and what it reveals. Reveal on page 35, it reveals that you, the women, are the best healers in the world, in the universe. Double times your energy you're getting. It is noteworthy that most of the healers were women because you're getting what? The positive vital force. Two times the amount. So children of Israel, my eternal mother, 
turn your force back on yourself and start healing yourself and healing others around you. Turn your thought because you have the ability to get double times the magnetic energy to move that thought faster than the speed of light, to move that etheric vision, that life force faster than anyone else on this planet. Use your power wisely, my eternal mother. But I am not done with you, my female. My eternal mothers, I'm not done with you. I have to wake you up to who you are. So you stop wasting time worrying about rubbish that is of no importance. When your mind can solve any problem for you, your thought, you are what you think and you think what you are. So if you think there is no problem, guess what? There is no problem. The universe put the solution through your thought of how it should be done. Magnetism, draw a magnet for the result to you. It can be a thousand million miles away. It's going to draw it to you. You have twice the force coming to you. So it will reach you faster than how it will reach the man. Second Baruch 73 verse 1 And it shall come to pass When we clean up this planet And get ready Lucifer and Esau Accomplishment and rule over the planet When they're done Verse 7 kick in My eternal mothers Women shall no longer have any pain When they're menstruating No more monthly pain No more one month pain No more of that anymore No PMS And none of the nonsense The doctor them used to tell you Cause children of Israel My eternal mother The only reason why You're going through those pain pain is because you're eating the wrong food. Your food are low vibration, killing off your eggs every month. But if your vibration is high because you're nourishing your body the right way, those eggs will not deteriorate and need to shed itself from your body. None at all. It shall happen. But you're moving back to that state and you're getting the information early to move back as early as you can. Nor shall you suffer any torment or no pain or no anguish when you have child, when you bear children, when you give birth. None of that anymore because your body will be transformed to do all the things that it needs to do as an eternal mother. Not done with you as yet. My sisters, my eternal mother. Second Baruch 51 again. Deal with you. It deal with the men. But as your time now, the man them can step out the building and let the eternal mother hear their message. Verse 9. A time will no longer age you. Time will no longer make you old. What that spell out for you? Eternal life. You're never aging anymore. Eternal life. Your 120 year life limit. Done. No more lapse in time in your living condition. No more sudden death. When Noah during Gemini was living, which line up with Aquarius. As above, so below. As below, so above. Noah lived until 950 years. That's how we live. Over 900 years. That's what you're moving back to and go way past 900. You're moving up. Noah was moving down in the degradation. You are moving up back into regeneration. We're not done yet. Verse 10 from my eternal mothers. They will be like angel, both the men and the women. But as I said, men, excuse yourself for a minute. The women, my eternal mothers, they will be like orphan names. That's what they'll be like. They will be able to change into whatever appearance they see fit. <laughs> my eternal mother and my orphanage, you can take on any image that you want, any shape you wish for, you think it, and your body transform into it. You can live on the surface of the planet. You can live below the ocean of the planet. You can live below the earth of the planet. Nowhere is much for you to live. Nowhere is excluded 
from you to live because you can take on any shape and any type of breathing pattern necessary to build and to live on any planetary condition. Verse 10, back to my eternal mothers, but we're not done yet, I told you, my eternal mothers. Chapter 96 of the sealed portion, blessed are my eternal mothers. I'm talking to you, O oh children of Israel, my sisters, I'm talking to you. You, you will be given the responsibility of this planet. The planet is moving back to you, just as how you control Venus, you're gonna control Earth and bring it back to what? It's glory after we get rid of the wicked man them and the man them who got rid of the wicked man them kind of step off and say, the eternal mother, it's your time. We need your counsel, oh eternal mother. It is your time. We need your advice, oh eternal mother. It is your time. We need you to get to work, my eternal mothers. So don't fret, my sisters, that the work isn't there for you. You got plenty of work coming up for you. But we need to clean up the place first and then put you in charge. You shall be thought. You shall be reached upon. You shall be asked. You, we shall seek your counsel for the things concerning which we shall restore the earth. That's your responsibility to restore the earth. In what? In all its natural beauty. The planet is a beautiful place. Wait until we get rid of Esau and Lucifer. And you see how the eternal mother gonna transform this place into a beauty. That's your job, my eternal mother. So start preserving your energy, the double amount you're getting, and use it properly now to see the future that is coming your way and to see your role in what's coming your way and walk into that role in your thought and your energy. Take your energy off worrying about man, man, man. Fallen man will always be unfaithful and be ruled by his Sodom and Gomorrah. So don't fret about him. Turn yourself inward. Look inward and work on you. Because it's your time now to take over the planet. Once we clear this place up and get rid of some bad seed. Let's move on. Your aura is formed by your magnetic energy and the thought that you think. Your thought is already creating that orb in your forehead area. But it's creating aura around you. A color is taken from that thought and the magnetism combined. Personal magnetism. Get that book and make sure you read it. Magnetic energy flowing from the body is detectable. It's a blue radiance. It's blue, meaning where blue is. It's on the top in the spiritual spectrum. So it comes spiritual already. So all that is needed for your thought to match your magnetic energy, blue on blue, and then you're working with good things. But if you drag it red, orange, yellow, green, and blue, you're changing the blue color to something else. Colors of the magnetic energy carry your odic force. Your thought energy goes with it. It comes out of the body in different colors of aura. When you connect your thought and the magnetic energy that is moving your thought, you're changing it from blue to something else. And you don't want to do that. You want to make it blue with blue or blue with purple. That's how you want to do it. The lowest is green, but you don't want to go there. Green is neutral. You want to always stay in blue and purple territory. Same book, because this is what the Merkaba vehicles will be coming to see flashing on you. Red if you're angry. Red if you're angry. So you can't lie or say nothing, because red is being printed in your aura when you're angry and you emotionally upset and emotionally unbalanced. Red coming off you in your aura. That's why I said, I don't want you to stay in red. Streaks of red shooting out of your aura. When you're angry, when you're full of hate, when you're full of stress, when you're full of all kind of deep negative emotion, that's what's reaching you. But when you're calm, 
When you calm, what's streaking off you? A steady pulsation streaking off you. A steady slow pulse of blue streaking off your body, of purple streaking off your body. That's when you're calm. No shooting red streak coming off you. A steady pulse of your aura color, which is blue or purple, depending on how calm you are. Black and brownish streak come off you when you're full of fear. Fear, you're entirely black out. Fear, they're not coming to pick that color up because black, it was black, and that means you haven't put in any work to even move it to red because it was black. The black area, which is your new and neutrino area, never moved. It stayed the same. So you don't want that mental strain. Green streak coming off you. That means you're right there in the neutral zone, but you don't want to be in green zone. You want to be in blue or purple. So get rid of mental strain and mental stress. None of that should be coming your way. Changing up your aura from blue. That's your aura originally in your magnetic energy. Concentrating strongly on money, getting Esau money, and getting Satan ways to help you make money. Change up your color to dark green. Not coming to pick that one up as well until you tone it up to blue. Until you tone it up to blue. Get rid of that money thought. Turn yourself back to yourself. Turn your thought back to yourself. Making your color blue, purple. When you tell a lie, when you tell a lie, because when the spectrum vehicle of light show up and say, let's put the light beam on this person and you tell a lie, say, whoa, I didn't know, whoa, whoa, I didn't do that, whoa, I didn't do that, what you think, no, 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 I didn't do it, you're instantly gonna black out. Instant black color drop over you and they know exactly that you are lying. That's how they use to measure your emotional state, your spiritual state, your non-spiritual state by your aura color. When you lie, instant blackout. When you lie, instantly you blackout. When you lie, your color change. Imagine now, children of Israel, when you get back your etheric vision and you walk up into Congress, instantly they all black out and then you make your journey over to the Senate instantly they black out as well and then you go up into the White House they all blacking out and then you make a trip across the pond you go to the Parliament building in the UK people blacking out left right and center you run across to Buckingham Palace they blacking out as well Make the trip over to Rome and go to Vatican City. Ask to see the Pope when you get back your etheric vision. And when he come out to you, instantly he black out as well before he even open his mouth. Then you come back to the US. You say, I want to talk to the doctors to see what healing they are doing. I want to talk to the church to see what healing they have been doing. To the children of Israel, they all black out as soon as they open their mouth. Lies on top of lies. That's what they've been spreading under the school, the doctrine and the principle of Lucifer, who's the master liar of all, teaching them all lies, how to lie and lie, plant up a lie, but they're blacking out. Once you get back your etheric vision, everyone is blacking out because they're all telling lies, sitting at one table, Everyone blacked out because anytime you lie, you black out. Black aura instantly cover up any other color that's visible around you. That's how they detect aura color. Being able to detect aura is essential to your knowing whether someone is truthful or not, whether someone is giving you good energy or not, whether someone is negative or not. You will develop that skill soon, oh children of Israel. Move your magnetism, move your Akasa energy, 
through your body and start developing enough of that force within you and these features will eventually turn back on. Now, this is a chart that I want you to know as well. Same as the other one before, but this is giving you your aura color up to the dimension of time that you are in. You're in the third dimension. You glow up to purple. So this chart is going to give you all the emotions that you're going to have and how it's going to equate back to a color of your aura. And as I've told you many, many, many times before, you want to stay in the power range. Green, mm -hmm. if you can, always stay blue. Go back to love. Always keep you in blue. Same color matching up back with your magnetic energy. The grayish blue color, which is really blue. The lighter blue. So you want to stay blue and above. Dark blue and above. Purple. That's where you want to be at all times. With the magnetic energy. With the magnetic energy moving through your body. Matching with your thoughts and your emotion that's traveling through that magnetic wave because every thought that you think move through your magnetic energy to go to the destination of where that thought has been placed. So keep your thoughts good and make sure they go through your body uninterrupted because you're pulling in magnetic energy. Now, if you're frustrated because you're always faced with problems, because everything seems bad and it's not going to work out, you can easily change by calming yourself down, calming your thoughts, place your thought, your attention at the back of your head. That is your neutral point to cut off any negative thought, when you place your thought directly at the back of your head, you're placing it right between your cerebellum and your pineal. If you want to figure out where it is, put the pointer finger of your right hand at the back of your head. Place it there. Press it a little bit. Press it so you can feel the pressing of it. Press it so you can feel your finger pressing against your head. Hold it there for about 30 seconds and then you move your finger and then keep your thought on that sensation that was there when your finger was there. You keep your thought there, that's the back of your head making connection with your thought. That is your safety zone to shift any emotional thought from a negative to a positive. Anything going through your pineal has to have a positive flow or it will not go through. Cannot go through no negative. No negative can go through that point of your head, which is the light of your head. Cannot go through it. So when you do that exercise I just gave you, you can transform any emotion from a negative state to a shift in a neutral or a positive state as shown to you in the heart rate meter. When you measure someone's heart rate, it's fluctuating that that, it's fluctuating as it is in red, when you're in frustration, anger, hate, or kind of negative emotion. It's called an incoherent pattern. When you shift it to a neutral by going to that back of your head or just shifting your thought, if you can do it like that, changing it, to a neutral, to calm, you go into a coherent pattern. What it means, the yellow line has a nice pattern to it. If you look on the red one, all over the place, up and down, up and down, but the yellow one moving in a pattern. That's when you're calm, you're thinking in a cohesive pattern. When you're in distress, frustration, anger, and negative emotion, you are in an incoherent pattern. All that pattern can be picked up in your aura as well because your aura color can change to a sine wave, can change to a sound, can change to a vibration field. That's how it is measured. All waves are measured by the spectrum vehicle of light. Another chart again, mapping out the same thing with your colors. Your colors go up to purple. When you get your purple color, then the next color you're going to go to is gold. When you open up your thalamus, that's your thalamus 
color. That's the color when you reach that thalamus opening and you can see all the visions of your father right in front of you. You transform into that gold color, a higher spectrum of color that you can see and will be around you. But you want to again, children of Israel, stay in the blue, blue and purple zone. Don't stay too long in the green zone. You always want to be raising up your consciousness, raising up your thought to a higher level. Love gets you there up in blue and you keep working from love all the way up to eternal joy. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. It moves you up from love 500 to 540. So make that noise and make a loud noise and keep your joy high. No matter who say what, saying you're raising your voice too loud, following the instruction of your Lord. Don't Melchizedek Jehovah make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Shout in a loud voice and raise your vibration up from that level of joy to the next level. Now we get again back to the color, but this is in a big group that I'm giving you because I want to tell you why I keep telling you blue and purple because that's the spiritual zone on the color spectrum that these spectrum vehicles of light will also be vibrating in and will also be matching you up with. Green is just energetic, physical energetic. It's not spiritual. It's not fully physical. Right in the borderline. But you want to always be in the spiritual color. That's why I said blue, the two shades of blue, light blue, dark blue, which is indigo, and purple. That's where you want to be and that's where you want to vibrate with. When you go back to the emotional chart, it will tell you which one you want to be in. And as I've told you before, this is how you move from incoherent to coherent. Breathing is one way you can do it. Calming yourself is another way you can do it. Starting with putting your finger at the back of your head. Concentrate on that sensation. Then move your finger. Keep your thought as if your finger is still on the back of your head. That brings you back to a coherent pattern. It will quell all the frustration, all the anxiety, all the worrying, all the fretting, all the fear, all the anger. Every negative emotion is quelled once you go to the back of your head. That is your throne to conquer all negative emotion. The back of your head, which carries the sensation of your cerebellum and your pineal will conquer any emotion, transforming it to a positive emotion of love, care, and appreciation. So practice what I am telling you to make sure that you master bringing back your energy in coherence, your color in coherence, and your frequency in coherence with spiritual energy. It brings us right back to where we started in the first place. Started talking about your body, akasa, blood, magnetism, bringing your blood in order, bringing your magnetism, your power up, and bringing in lot of the spirit, which is the breath and the life coming in from your crown as your akasa, bringing it in, flowing it into your body seamlessly efficiently with your blood purified your magnetic energy up and your thought radiating good things all of this together bring you back into the 10 qualities that's needed to move the 10 channels of your body your oil coming from your head all the way down to your sacrum moving it back up to your head your crown king dome you need this to get in order. You need this to be in order, O oh children of Israel, to finish up the formation of your Merkaba. Now we get to the ending of it. So the vehicles of light that are coming, O oh children of Israel, the vehicle of light that is your over self body as well, that's coming to collect you back. 
the keys of Enoch. 117, verse 7 tells you the vehicle of light as your over self body has to descend upon you and collect you and all your thoughts during your lifetime. So if you've been thinking wicked thoughts, all kind of negative thoughts, can it collect you? No, it cannot collect you unless you bring up your thought up all the way into the green territory, but you're still running risk. Move it up to the blue. Move it up to the other blue. Move it up to the purple. So when it comes to collect you, your thoughts are straightened out. That's your mission, oh children of Israel, coming for you, coming for you. And you want when it says, when it says, the master of the house, you don't know when he's coming. So make sure you're wearing clean underwear. Make sure you tidy up yourself and keep yourself in order. So when this vessel of life, which is your over self body, Come to collect you. Your thoughts are right. Your house is in order. Everything straightened out. Your geometry, your body, which is the fourth of your higher body, coming for your old children up. Yes, well, coming to what? Redeem you. House down on you. Dome down on you. Give you back your whole self body so you can walk up into all these places and they're blacking out instantly when they see you in your geometry your body full of fire seven rainbow over your head all kind of electron glow coming off your body several inches you're on fire coming back for you oh children of israel make yourself ready make yourself ready second israel 14 verse 34 give you a synopsis as a home you can make yourself ready if you rule over your mind giving you all that thing to do that is not of righteousness rule over that mind stay in the blue territory i've given the blue one to you over and over i'll give you the purple as well stay there Rule over your mind. Rule it. Get it under control. You are in control. You are in control. You're taking back control. You're taking back the driver's seat. You're driving on your own. You're not letting fallen angels and their fallen doctrine. No, no, Isa. Guide your mind no more. Discipline your thoughts. That's what heart means. The ancient Jews. Heart to refer to your cerebellum, which is holding all your thoughts. It's not the pumping station for your blood in the center of your chest. It's your thoughts. Control those thoughts. Rule over them. Discipline your thoughts. Move your thoughts into the green, not so much in the blue, purple area. Keep it there and you shall be kept alive for your eternal life coming back unto you. So when we kill off the age of Pisces, when we kill off the age of Pisces, when we bring it to an end, that's what it means. You shall obtain your eternal life. Rule over your thoughts. Rule over your mind, O oh children of Israel. Control your thoughts, O oh children of Israel. Move your magnetic energy. Increase it. I shall leave instruction in the manual, in the book that I'm posting on the information section in YouTube. Use the manual and go through and figure out how you can get back your magnetic energy. Up, up, up. No more nonsense. Your eternal life is yours. No more nonsense. You are in charge of your own eternal life. You get the message. Use the message. Act upon the message. Magnetism. Important to your life. It's going to help you to heal yourself. And heal the nation. Has given back unto you in revelation. Your tree of life. When you perfect it. And you come back. 
ready to heal the entire nation. They better run when they see you coming. They better get out the way, grab their foot and run. Healing is your home. Healing is your strength. Healing is your purpose. When my eternal mothers get up and get themselves in order and say time to heal the nation because we have double the power. Magnetic energy in our body has the power to heal all that's coming your way. You're worried about Esau and his law and his hospital full of doctors telling lies. Worry not, oh children of earth. Well, seal portion 73. We're going to set them up a little bit today, but I'll have to give you what is coming your way, oh children. Doctors, you're not healing. Doctors, you're not doing no healing. Doctors, I say, you're not doing no healing, so you shall suffer great embarrassment. Great Rahat is coming your way. Seal portion 73. Verse 63. Whoa, want to you doctors. Destruction unto you doctors. Great suffering unto you all the doctors. Not some of them. All of them. Whoa, want to the doctors of the soul. The one who come and try to tell you all kind of spiritual nonsense. Who want to you? Who set you up? Did you come sent? Or you said yourself? Who sent you? As counselor of the children of Israel. As spiritual advisor of the spirit of the children of Israel. Who sent you? Who sent you? And the leaders of the church were not done with you. But we're talking about the doctors today who haven't been doing no healing. You think we're going to let you run around in the kingdom not doing no healing and prescribing pharmaceutical poison for the children of Israel. Pharmaceutical witchcraft for the children of Israel. No way. Getting yourself rich and getting yourself rich and keeping the children of Israel sick. No more, none of that gonna work. No more, none of that gonna work. Telling them lies on top of lies. Telling them lies. No more, that's gonna work. No more, when the most I say, wake up, oh children of Israel. Time for you to go clear up the place. Wake up. Get ready for what's coming, children of Israel. When the King Messiah at that time, King Louis shall show up with the eternal mothers in the hospital. What you gonna do, doctor, when they show up looking for you? What you gonna say when they show up? The King Louis and the eternal mother with the double power coming for you. And they touch the patient. With one touch, all the patient heal. With one touch, all the patient heal. What you gonna do? Grab your foot and run. Doctors of lie. I'm telling you, oh children of Israel, one touch and you're gonna heal. Everyone that is sick. So you think these doctors can stay around with that energy? This entourage of people walking in the hospital. They're all on fire with seven different color over their head. Several inches of flames coming off their body. What you gonna say, doctor, when those people show up for you? Children of Israel, children of Israel, if you don't believe me, if you don't believe me, I'm going to leave you with this to think about for now. Not one doctor will be left standing, running no healing and no sickness at all. The time done. We're going to pink slip all of them. So if you're a doctor listening this message, know that your retirement paper is coming soon. Know that your pink slip is sure as sure. You're not going to give the people any more pharmaceutical medicine. No, not that. No more poison and no more witchcraft. It is being 
Cut off you have been duly notified. Stand strong, O oh children of Israel. Stand strong, O oh children of Jacob. Stand strong, O oh children of Judah. Stand strong, O oh children of Ephraim. Stand strong, my Gentile brothers and sisters. Stand strong, all of you, in the name of the Most High. Ella, ya, yon he, bahue, hello, wim, neta, rav, neta, God in her modern day name, and in the name of the Lord, don't, Melchizedek, Yehovah, who has given us back all the knowledge to resurrect our seed and to make our seed transform us, regenerate us, reconstruct us to the children of light. Kodowish, 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 Adonai, Sebayot.